Hello everybody, this is a Lighthouse Hall of Fame film from the European server at Sebastian Potato in his T-71. He's platooning with Panzerkampfwagen and Ace. He has a uh, TD this time. We're in Corellia Assault Offense. This battle is about to go into first place on the T-71 list. And I apologize, This, including this one, the next three films aren't going to have XVM because these are all 9.12 films and everything updated before I could record them and I'm using a uh, like an unofficial version of the client to run them and I'm, I don't have XVM on it so four films from now we'll be back to XVM but for a couple films you're just gonna have to deal with it, with not having it And he is going to bypass the donut and go all the way to the north side. Pay attention to what he does up there if you're not used to using trees to help you gain concealment. I've already watched the video. He's going to come up here and knock a tree over and then use it to conceal his tank. He wisely passes up the easy shot on the IS-3 there, had him zeroed in. And he'll come up over here and knock down a tree and then sit in it. He's going to see if he can shoot that Type 62 first then. Here we go. Has a T-34 down in the middle of the map. So with the T-34 dying, he goes ahead and reloads. He's getting bored, waiting on the Type 62, so he's going to come over here. And which way is he going to go? Looks like he's going to try to come in behind these heavies. But he sees the other tanks off to his left, so he's going to snipe the J-Panther. He gets seen, so he backs up. He's just going to slide back down and use this little bump in the ground to hide him while he reloads. And now he's going to pull out and get this T-34. Everybody else is concerned with the fight up here to the north, and so he's catching this guy one-on-one -on -one and killing him. Something that, if you watched his fight in Erlenburg, he was very successful at. You find the tank that's by themselves. Other people may be close by, but if they're engaged in a fight, he can probably pop out and dump a clip and disappear before they can help out. With that T-34 gun, now he can pull out here and shoot into the back of these heavies and not worry about having somebody pull up behind him. So just before IS-3 can bring his gun to bear, Sebastian pulls back, lets the rock provide cover. While he reloads, he's just waiting. <laughs> as soon as he's loaded, he's going to go shoot these guys. He may be able to kill both of them here. On the same clip, I think he will. 
He's taking a shot, but he wants that kill. Indian Panzer is slowly moving forward. So he's going to reload and get ready to face him down. Panzer Count Wagenace is on the way in his J Panther 2. And they're probably going to uh, take on this guy from both sides of this big rock that he's hiding behind. So as the TD moves into position, Sebastian's going to pull forward probably. And they're going to come around this rock two different ways at him. And here we go. With the TD on the left, he'll go to the right and get nice flanking shot. There's the gun moving toward him. Bam! Bond and Zervant. Kampvaganese takes him out. Still don't have a lead. It's 9 to 9. As soon as he gets close to being reloaded, he'll pull out and go look for his next victim. Got early to worry about. Bang, down goes one, humble to go. He misses the shot and now he's gonna die. So two quick kills on Artie. Now they have a one tank lead. Time to go get that sink even. He'll be reloaded by the time he pops out here around the end. If Panzer Kampwagenes doesn't kill him first, here he goes. Ooh, he misses the first one. He did miss and bounce. So, two tanks to go. They gotta be up in here somewhere. Maybe they went down south and Tried to backdoor the people on the donut. They definitely aren't in this area, so they, they gotta be down in here, I'm guessing. I haven't seen the whole movie, we just helped him. When he went in after the Arties, when I quit watching the first time, there's the heavy up on the donut. So you figure the Type 62 is around there somewhere. Just don't know where. Maybe he's continuing to the north. Maybe he's chugging along back down to the south. Sebastian already has six kills in the top gun. And here we go. Who gets the kill? We gonna do the same as with the Indian Panzer, come in from the other side and hopefully get a flanking shot. can't afford to be hit by the guy. Oh no, but he just shoots and takes out the J-Panther center. Gives Sebastian free reign to fire away. He gets the kill. One tank to go. Somewhere to the south. You would think if he had been up here, he would have come out and helped, and he didn't. And there he is, up to the north. Oops, he's going to have to go chase him down. So he's reloading as he goes. You know he wants this kill, because if he gets it, it's a Radley Walters. So. He's pretty happy that his teammate's camping right now. He just hopes Cap isn't completed before he gets his chance to kill the guy. And the guy moved off Cap, so not a problem. Here we go. Eight kills, Radley Walters. And for the entire fight, 
He does 4,137 points of damage with 8 kills. 34 of 44 shooting, that's 77%. Tax on 1,013 points of assisted damage with 5 spots. Earned 46,530 credits. He was awarded 2,663 XP and survived the fight. Got the Radley Walters, Top Gun, and High Caliber, along with Spotter. Duelist and Fire for Effect Mini Medals, and that gives him a first place battle score 2,758. So, kind of unusual to have somebody start and spawn one, run all the way up to the north, but he likes playing on that side. You saw him knock down the tree to give him a little concealment so he could watch everywhere from here back around to here, and I uh, was able to help spot and damage two different tanks down there moved off to help the people fighting up in this area but there are several enemy tanks down here and he got first he managed to isolate this T-3485 just pulled out and emptied a clip on him and killed him because he was pretty certain that everybody over here was concentrating up there they wouldn't be able to react to him in time and he got away with it and then he was able to pull up and take the two heavies out one of them did damage on the other and his platoon mate came over and they played kind of a pink a boom flank a boom type thing with the Indian Panzer off to kill the artillery and then just run around the southern flank of the map and find the last people to kill. Just keeps moving forward once he started and found the targets, killed them, moved forward more and just clear the map as you go. Helps to have support with somebody else with you, especially when they're in a at TD and they kind of know what they're doing with it but um, whether you're with a scout or by yourself or with somebody you don't know if you have the ability to keep pressing the attack then you keep doing it just wipe the map clean as you go and it slowly becomes your territory you end up with a win and in this case excellent kill total and a great medal from Corellia Assault Offense first place in the T71 list Sebastian Potato happy hunting